Well, well, now that now that our pit of a year is over with, with let's, let's kick things, things off with another generous measure of my wisdom and advice. AJ Pody asks, what kind of Griffin holidays can you talk about? Well, you can't bring up any holiday these days without someone throwing up. It used to be when you wish someone a, for example, happy heart swarming, it meant you were sharing something you loved with a fellow. Now, somehow sharing something you love makes you a scumbag. It's a strange culture these days. WolfX asks, How did you know I'm responsible for that upcoming Lion King remake? Who are you working for? I work for the greater good. I am a firm advocate for quality children's entertainment that stands the test of time, that does not need to be rebooted or remade by a motley collection of greedy, clueless executives who have no shit on the shelf and want to take no chances. Friendship is Magic is a reboot of a television program that didn't work out when it first surfaced. Learn something, executives. Try rebooting and remaking bad movies and TV shows. Iron out the kinks. Give Captain Planet some subtle villains and morals. Cast the role of Matilda's dad with someone who is not the same size as her. And Doughboy asks, can Griffins control the weather? We can, can, but it doesn't happen, happen much, much these days. Any time, any time a griffin time tries to shift a few clouds, there'll be another griffin who throws a fit of the salts. There's, there's no weather, weather schedule, schedule anymore. anymore. That rancid, rancid vegetable, vegetable Guto was responsible, responsible for our once grand, grand weather factory's plunge, plunge. But even before, before his dismal rain, our ability to control and regulate Griffinstone's weather wasn't without its mishaps. For example, since giant tortoises hibernate, we tried to keep winter snow on our mountaintop and away from the farm at the bottom. But inconveniently, cold air falls. And so does snow for that matter. That avalanche that buried over 3,000 tortoises was perhaps the lowest point of my reign. On the plus side, with all that cold snow and ice smothering the farm, all that giant tortoise meat most certainly did keep.